So guys, welcome back to Finding Bigfoot. I'm so glad you guys enjoyed this and you did let me know in the comments that you wanted to see more. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. Also, thank you so much for all the kind comments in that previous episode. It does mean a lot, guys. And I'm so happy, like I say, that you enjoyed it. So we're going to continue the adventure today. Now, a lot of people did leave me advice because a bunch of you guys have played this game on how to lure the Bigfoot in and where to look. So I'm going to try and use what you guys have said today. There is some bad news, though. Don't know if you guys can tell. I'm playing a different character because, as far as I know, the game doesn't have the ability to save. Or at least I don't know how to yet. Alright, so I think this is what I came to last time. Talbot Lake. Yeah, this is where I was and I did a left. And I don't know if you guys can see this. The game is naturally very dark, but there's like a path. You... I thought we ran into it already then. There's like a natural path. And I think I went this way? I can't remember which way I went. I, I think I went this way. You get really turned around in games like this. Like, there's no natural way you're supposed to go. Yeah, I think this is the way we came. So one of you guys said that if I get to the swamp or the uh, the marsh area, I should just go straight across and then I see something. Which I like little heads up like that. It means a lot because then it, one, intrigues me to want to find what you guys are talking about. And it leads more to the storyline if you guys have played it without telling me exactly what's going on. There we go. So that's what it was. There's some kind of cabin? Is that a cabin? I think it is. All right, let's just get across then. Now also, while I was editing the previous episode, I think I understood what was wrong with the rifle. If you guys see this, if I press Z on the keyboard, it brings up the select key for... Wait, why can't I do that? I've got to have the rifle out. If, if you press Z, it lets you change which type of ammo you want to use. So right now we've just got the standard bullet, but you can see off the top of the rifle, nothing is loaded. So you've got to reload the ammo. I think that's what I was doing wrong. So we should be ready for this big bitch this time. I wanted to ask you guys too, with all these documentaries and stuff, like if you had all the money in the world, like if money was no object and you had the chance to set up an expedition team, what would you want to look for? I think that's an interesting question. Like, is there something that you'd want to find or answers to something you'd find? I'm guessing like a lot of people are going to say like aliens and stuff, which again is still on the table. If that's what you'd want to find with money, Money being no object. This is a hunting cabin. Can I not take the rifle? I think all the rifles are the same as well. Take the trap. What's that knocking sound? Holy shit, that's bright. This definitely looks like a hunting cabin. I'm going to take the ammunition. In fact, I'm going to switch the ammunition up. I'm going to use the track that, or the track bullet this time. The reason I keep calling it a track dart is because I think I watched something quite recent where they used a dart as a tracking device. I don't know if it's a movie or something. Alright, what's up this? Can we even get up that? Okay, take ammunition. Don't need any more. So is something supposed to happen here or is it just maybe like a clue? There doesn't seem to be any damage to the building. And I would imagine if you knew there was like a Sasquatch in these woods, you would be out of this place so fast. But yeah, I'd like to know if you guys like, if money was no object and you could set up an expedition team to go and find the answers, whether it be good or bad, whether it be the answers you want them, or the answers you want or not, what would you go looking for? I think that'd be so sick. Side by side with that as well, if you knew you'd seen a Sasquatch, what would you do? Would you tell anyone? I think I would. I think I'd try to get some video evidence for you guys. Right, I'm gonna go this way. I don't. I honestly don't know the way around this forest, so we're just going around blind routes, hoping that we can find something. If I get a chance to take it down, I think I will. There's no real logical way that I know of being able to trap it, because if you guys remember the previous episode, I did place meat inside the cage, but it didn't let me place it down. There's actually more to that swamp area too. Right, I'm gonna take some of these, in case I need to disguise any traps. I'm just going to hug this perimeter all the way around. The good thing is we know what we're listening for now. So if we hear anything that resembles that kind of signature noise that he makes, or she, in many cases throughout wildlife and things like that, it's generally the female that is the hunter or the bigger version of the male. In many cases. Not all cases, in many cases. So Bigfoot could very well be a female protecting a young. 
I didn't even think of that. Maybe, maybe there's little babies in this too. That's why she's so aggressive. You know what? We're going to stick to that. We're going to say she from now on. All right, there doesn't seem to be anything around it. I'm looking for a place where it lives. In the, uh, in the TVs? I think that's pretty far away. I'm ready to go. In the TV series, they find these like really weird makeshift, almost like a den. Like it's snapped over like a tree like this and then placed leaves over the top of it. Almost like a temporary shelter, if that makes sense. And then it moves on. Also, I did read a lot of comments from you guys at the previous video saying that you guys have actually got stories about Sasquatch and stuff like that. And I want you guys to know that if you want to tell stories like that, I'm definitely going to listen to them. So if you write things down, I think I read someone saying that their dad has a story to do with a Sasquatch. I think that's so sick. Like, there's definitely things certain people see in certain places of the world that can't be explained. I think that's so cool. I live in a really kind of boring place, like the UK. We don't have anything cool like that. I think the only superstition that we have, if it, if it even is a superstition, is I think it's something like there was a panther in like the countryside or something. I can't remember the name of it. I'm sure someone's going to let me know in the comments, but I don't know. That could have just been something that escaped from a zoo. I think there's actually a few, but I, I don't really take too much of an interest in them. I find it harder to believe, seeing as though that we're much smaller to consider to other places around the world. But yeah, I always find it really cool when people have got, like, stories to tell. This is definitely... If, if I'm just saying, if I was hunting a Bigfoot or a Sasquatch or some kind of elusive creature, I would not be dressed like this. I'd be head to toe in body armor, guys. Just saying, I'd be head to toe in body armor. <laughs> Fucking... Oh, shit, what was that? What was that? Okay, so I thought I'd bring you guys back because it's been a couple of minutes now and I haven't heard or seen anything. Which in the previous episode wasn't the case. I'd either hear stuff or the thing would be on me. But I need to tell you guys too, like in the previous episode I did say something about a, uh, a short motion film called the Patterson and Gimlin movie. I think I said it wrong. I couldn't remember it off the top of the head, but you guys should definitely check that out. If you, if you want more of an insight as to... The, um, the kind of origins of where everything was stirred up. That that motion film, it's incredible to see. And I'm sure you can find it on YouTube too. And as I mentioned in that previous episode, nobody could disprove. I'm trying to stay like really active too, because I know a bunch of you guys did say in the comments that you were spotting stuff and I was missing it. You guys have got eagle eye vision too. Because I did check out what you guys were saying and you're absolutely right. Whenever anyone left like a number for the video to see where the thing was, especially on the CCTV cameras too. How the hell you guys did that, I'll never know. But I, th I think I glanced across a comment that said, search for caves. As far as I can tell, I don't think we can go like up the mountains and stuff. So I guess I'm just looking for like an opening. If it's not a cave I'm looking for, I'm going to be looking, like I said before, of something like the show, you know, which has like broken branches and stuff, like a makeshift home. Alright, it's getting dark now. I love this transition, like you can see that, the kind of, the twilight time. Daytime, and then night time. Really vulnerable at the minute too, because I've got the tracker bullet actually loaded into the rifle. You guys can see this, there's nothing, there's no sign of him, or her. I'm going to stick with her. Going back to what I was saying before though, like an expedition team, I think what I do is like hire the most badass hunters that you could think of, but I'd give them strict instructions. It's not shoot first. I think it'd be a case of, what's that noise? There's something like tension building music. It's like there, what is that? I don't know if you guys can hear that, it's like a deep groan. I think that's like when we found a body last time. But as I was saying, I think I'd give them strict instructions to watch from a distance. Like... Can you guys hear that? Let's 
getting stronger. Is it just the wind? But yeah, I'd give them strict instructions not to shoot first. Observe, see if you can get evidence, and then I'd want to be keeping tabs on it, you know? Like, oh shit, that's what the music was. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? Load this bitch up with some live ammo. I'm going inside of this. If she has got young, I'm dead. Oh, fucking bats. That would be bats. Ah, oh, there's blood. Yep, this is where it's been living. Deer's head. Blood. Look at this. There's just blood everywhere. Yep, this is definitely where it's been feeding. What's this? Just health? I don't need any health yet. It's good to know that the health's there though. Can't see myself coming back to this point though to go and get that health, I'm not gonna lie guys. All right, let's keep going around. I'm gonna switch back. A little bit exposed now guys, that's why I'm really quiet, trying to listen out. All right, so we can keep hugging this wall all the way around this way. But I think that'd be a cool idea, like getting some like expert hunters who, who know how to track things, like the best in the world, and getting a few of them with a good scientist group so they can, you know, document what they see from the creature and too. I think it'd be cool. I mean, to this day, I mean, I said it in the first episode, like nobody can disprove or prove that it's real. So I like playing around with the idea that it could be. There's a, there's a very famous scientist that proved that you couldn't or you wouldn't be able to find bones of i think it was a certain monkey in like a jungle and it was only discovered up until recent that they existed so there's still things being found and i think it's fascinating stuff like that i think there was something in uh, around asia where they found something that was apparently supposedly extinct for like three and a half thousand years i think it was some kind of water dragon i think it's really really cool but yeah, the question still stands, guys. If you could have an expedition team to go looking for something, and it can be anything, any kind of spectrum too, like anything you desire. It doesn't have to be a Sasquatch, it can be anything. I'd love to... I know what that sound was. Wait, what's that? I'm doing that thing again where I whisper. It helps, guys. Look for any movement in the tree line. No, there doesn't seem to be anything. But like I say, the question still stands. If you could gear up an expedition team, money, no object, what would you want to hunt down? I think that's a really cool question to ask you guys based on what you said in the previous comments. So, all right. I think we're gonna keep looking around guys. I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okay guys, so I just kept hugging the fence all the way around and I came around to this point. I've just discovered another one of these, what look like Hunter's Lookout Posts. So I think I'm going to keep following the trail that way. What's this? More flares and stuff. In fact, I'm going to get that out. No, that gave me a crap ton of light last time. As soon as I hear that thing rot, that bird scared the shit out of me then. You could hear like the hesitation in my voice. I thought that thing was going to creep up on me then. Alright, let's take a look. Which way do we want to go? I think I'm going to go... I'm just going to keep hugging this all the way around to the left. And then I'm going to split to the right. You see that kind of over to the left of the screen? There's like a mass. I think that might be a lake. <laughs> Is that going to be enough to scare it off? The first one was a panic shot, the second one was a warning shot to let it know that I know it's in the area. 
Okay, so I thought I'd bring you guys back because I went down that small channel which looked like it was taking us to a different area, but in fact, it was actually doubling back to the same route that we'd been before. If you guys remember in the previous episode where I found that weird cabin with lights on on the top of the hill, that's the route it was taking me to. So I, in fact, I don't actually know how to get down that smaller channel over that way. I'll have to come back and check that out. I did look around and see if there was any like cracks in the rocks and stuff to squeeze through. But I actually noticed too that when I was coming down this way, we're actually right next to the lake. And I think I remember reading like on the intro to the game, this is where it said the tourists came in. So if they came in on a lake, I'm assuming obviously it was by boat. So I'm going to try and hug the lake all the way around, see if there's any clues. If not, then I'm going to take it that they stayed in that cabin that we found in the swamp areas. But it just, it seems weird to me that they would place a random cabin in the middle of a swamp. There's got to be more to it. Maybe we'll see like a destroyed boat or something. Maybe it got beached and they were trying to get it free and that's where they encountered the Sasquatch. The good news is it's becoming daytime again. Look how pretty that is. Right, I don't feel as scared as I was. I know what you guys are thinking. I waited the night out until daytime. I promise you guys, I didn't. I tried to check that whole area down at the bottom half of the map to see if there was any other way. What would be kind of cool in this game is if it had the mechanics of trying to survive in the woods as well as hunt the thing. I don't know if that'd be difficult to do in this type of game, but you know, like drink maybe fish from the lake too i think that'd be sick and your ultimate goal is to capture the bigfoot okay so it's actually been a long time now since i've actually heard the creature so i've decided to set up a camera in this spot like you can see there's plenty of open area and if the creature was to come and grab a drink this would look like a location where it would travel through like there's plenty of foliage plenty of cover for it to hide grab a quick drink and go back out but i've put some bait down with the trap too and disguised it so hopefully it will come to it fucking deer again the amount of times the deers have like sent shivers up my spine because I just thought there's a glimpse of it to my right side but it's actually been such a long time since I've even heard the thing wait what's that? Is that just a weird tree formation I'll show you guys where we are on the map we're just on the other side of the lake so I'm gonna keep going around this way just to see if there's anything else that I haven't seen yet and then I'll probably double back that way which I didn't really venture around too much I did notice as well on the controls there's this if you press G, you can bring up this Finding Bigfoot guide. There's actually some cool notes too. If you want to read it guys, I'll leave it there, you can pause the video. We're going to keep moving on. Another deer again. Look, I told you guys, they're more active now as well. Alright, let's keep going. Okay guys, so I last spoke to you guys like 30 seconds ago and then I came to this like crossroads. And then I noticed this. There's a small camp here, and I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a light on, and the fire's still burning. I think this is what a bunch of people wanted me to find in the comments. Something definitely went down here. Plenty of blood. You can only imagine, like, the horror. If you were in this situation, and then you heard something in the woods, you saw something of that size... I don't think you can blame anyone for running. What's all this? Is that the paddles? So they did come in on boats. Wait, is that a paddle? There's a paddle. Can we find it? Can we take the light? No, we can just turn it off. So I'm assuming from this that this is where they came in on. There we go. There's the boats. Oh, they're kayaks. I assumed it would be like it. A... Wait, what can I hear? I can hear flies again. You guys hear that? Oh, there it is. Oh, that poor girl. Her knees are facing the wrong way. She definitely ran into a Sasquatch. Fuck! Alright, he's over there. I'm going to try and actively hunt this thing now, guys. I'm not going to try and bitch out. I'm going to try and actively hunt this thing. So we found two of them. That thing was definitely over this way. All right, you know what we're going to do? Throw down a camera like... Here. 
So we've got evidence of it being here before. Throw a trap down. Where's the meat? Put the meat down on top of this. There we go, that's good enough. Alright, so we've got a second camera down now. Okay, so I've decided because we've got plenty of these things, I've actually still got more back at the trailer too, that I might as well just place it down facing the camp with a little bit of bait too. Look how perfect I got that meat on top of the trap. So if it does come to investigate to see what we were looking at, then hopefully we'll see signs of it. So I'm going to start heading back to the trailer now. But that noise that you guys just heard when we found that body then, that was the first sign of it being in the area for like, I don't know, like 20 minutes or so. So the idea being that we're going to kind of bank round to the left. I think I'm going to go to the trailer and then at night time we're going to head out again. If I can remember where that other body was, that's three ticked off the list. Which way didn't we go? Alright, I'm going to try and stick to this trail. I really want to dart the thing though. I want to get a fix in its location because if I can do that, then I can use the tools that I have to hopefully bring the thing down. Again, which is what I think you have to do. Because the more I think about it, if the meat doesn't work to bait it into the actual cage that we have, then there's no other way of getting the thing. I mean, I don't think we have, like, tranquilizer darts. Where? Where, where, where? Switch ammo, switch ammo. Okay guys, so as you can see, we're back. I was heading back to the trailer. I just went over to the other cabin that we found at the beginning of the episode to put a CCTV camera down. And then that thing just came out of nowhere. Look how fast it is though. It's gone. Oh wait, it's going back to... That's going up into the mountains. There's no way I can keep up with that thing. Alright, I've got a different plan. I'm going to go back to camp. My heart is beating a million miles a second. I did not expect that then. I was literally just about to bring you guys back and then the thing attacked. It's coming back. All right, we need to get back to camp before it gets back to us. Quick. That thing moves. Which you would imagine too, like even in the show, they do say that the thing would be able to move incredibly fast. Yeah, it's slowly coming back. I think it's walking though. But you guys can see that. At the top of the screen, you can see that red bar. I think that's its health. I definitely tagged it when it was trying to get away. Coming back slowly. It's back over at the camp. If it goes towards where you can see that number three is. Alright, it's right near number one. Is it going for the bait? It's going for the bait. Back inside. Close the door quick. Close the door. Oh, there it is! <laughs> We captured it on film. Fucking size of that thing. So I was just about to bring you guys back and tell you all that I couldn't find the body of, I think it was Christine that we found in the previous episode. My heart is thumping so fast. I was about to show you like the route that I'd taken. Where's he going? Okay, we gotta fix him now. He's over there somewhere. I pegged him with one of the tracker bullets too. All right, here we go. He should be here. There he is. <gasps> Please, please. Okay, I must have pumped like six or seven shots in him and he's still not down. He's going to take a crazy amount of bullets 
to bring this beast to the ground, which you would imagine anyway. Every encounter you have with this thing though, like it makes the ground shake. Then your hands start to sweat, start to panic. What would be cool if there was like a, a throw animation that it could do? Or just a little bit more. But like I keep saying, the game's very early on in development, so they're gonna change a lot of things. All right, he's, he's really got his running shoes on now. I don't think I can track it all the way down there. A little bit low on health too. I don't have any medicine left. All right, it's coming back. We're gonna have one more go at this. I'm gonna try and cross paths with this thing. I need it to get my scent so it comes to me. I don't wanna to be too far away from camp. All right, here we go. Where is it? Is that it? I think I just saw it move from left to right. There it is. Do we actually take any health off it then? I mean, it's hurt, you can see that. Why is its blood green too? I mean, why am I saying that? I don't know what, what kind of blood a Bigfoot has or a Sasquatch has. It could have a completely different biology than what, what everyone thinks it has. Okay guys, so we're back in the trailer now. I've just been taking a look at this thing because if I remember right in the previous episode, I'm almost 99.9% .9 sure that I found Christine. We found Gordon today. We're just missing Edward and Joe. And you can see like we have to find them all. But if I remember right, we didn't find Christine in the locations that we've discovered Christine's body to be in today. So I think I remember someone saying that in the comments too, like the bodies can change locations. So I need to keep an eye on that. I have checked like behind the trailer too. That's where you guys saw me run into the Bigfoot. But I think what I'm going to do is bait this thing in. I'm going to be ballsy guys towards the end of this episode. I'm going to keep the windows open. And you know what? I'm going to keep the door open too. Okay guys, so I've got to be honest, I've been waiting around the camp for like a solid 30 to 40 minutes and I've not heard or seen a single thing. The only thing I'm putting it down to is that it wasn't quite night time. As far as people know or think, Bigfoot is a nocturnal hunter. So I think what I'm going to do in the next episode is set up a more defensive perimeter with the cameras and the, and the meat and stuff and then really push my chances at taking the creature down. That is if you guys want to see another episode, but I think guys, for now, I'm all out of time. Look, I even left the windows and doors open and stuff, and I did find this out too. Like, I'm pretty sure this is for Bigfoot, but we can use it. I don't think this thing's getting in here. So I think guys, for now, I'm gonna end it here. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all in the next one.